everyone welcome back to my channel where I'm sitting is actually where I started over a year ago and now I have I think like 95 videos wow okay so cool I'm actually here because my dishwasher is on it's really loud and then the heat was on but it shut off so hopefully you can hear me <laughs> so what I want to talk about today is how do we practice and that's what it is right how do we practice being able to say no, be our true self, being able to say what we really want instead of what the other person wants? How do we do that? Yeah, it's not easy, I know. Well, that's why I call it a practice. So when I was growing up, um, unintentionally, I was trained by my parents to Please, to be nice, to say yes when I probably felt like saying no, etc. A lot of us have been raised that way, and I'm not blaming anyone, I'm just explaining it. So, what I have come to value the most in the past years about myself is my strive to be as authentic as possible. But in order to be authentic within yourself, you have to know who you are. And you just don't wake up one day and you're like, I'm going to tell everybody how I feel. I'm gonna say no and da, da da I mean, first of all, that would be really scary for a lot of people, but also that's just not the approach that you want. It's too aggressive, too um, blindsiding other people. But instead, what I learn is I start with baby steps and those baby steps are just like, maybe no if somebody texts me and you wanna hang out, no, no, I'm busy or even more honest, no, I'm taking this time for myself. Phone calls, right? People want to talk to me on the phone. Usually I do too, but what if I don't? What if after seeing six clients a day and listening and talking back and forth, I just want to go home, eat ice cream, watch Netflix, and feed my cats? I'm, I'm going to share something with you. This is, this is one of my cats. Oscar, do you want to talk to the camp? No? Okay. And there's another one, Pico, Pico. He's hiding there. Anyway, I have six cats, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of work and I love them. But learning to say no for me became much easier when I realized who is I trying to please more, people or myself? Definitely people. And saying no potentially meant that People might get mad at me, right? Or they might not like me, or they might be like, what's her problem? She was always so available, blah, blah, blah. And now she's too busy for me. She thinks she's better than me, whatever. Whatever people think, I don't care personally because people are gonna think what they want. And most people, here's an Eleanor Roosevelt quote, are too busy thinking about themselves to think about you. So think about that or don't. What I do though is I actively give myself as much time as I can to um, prepare to say no. What happens when you don't have that time, right? Like what happens when it's not the obvious, somebody texts you like, hey, you wanna go out tonight? And you're like already picking out your pajamas and your comfy pants, or comfy pajamas. So if you get bloated, you don't feel too bad and you have a show ready on Netflix and you have your comfy food. You're like, ah, oh, no, this isn't too hard because I have time to text back and I can just say, hey, sorry, I'm busy. Or I prefer to say, actually, not sorry, but yeah, I'm just taking this time to be with myself. I'm going to chill tonight at home. Thanks for asking. No, end of story. You don't always have to be sorry, by the way. But let's say something happens like it did to me. All right. So Thanksgiving Day, I went to see my mother. And as much as I love my mom, this was considered more of a responsibility. It wasn't like, oh, this is what I want to do on Thanksgiving Day. What I really wanted to do on Thanksgiving Day and what I ended up doing after I saw my mom was go home, make myself my own Thanksgiving meal, which took, I think, less than 10 minutes and consisted of like a healthy stuffing from Trader Joe's. Um, I made, sh made shrimp. I cooked shrimp can't make shrimp, right? No, I, no. Um, I also had a salad of red bell and yellow bell peppers, radishes and sprouts. And then I also cut up some potatoes 
uh, grilled them in the oven in butter. And that was my meal, which is really good, by the way. And then I had carrot cake with ice cream, which goes without saying, that's amazing. So I did all this and I'm watching pretty good movie on Netflix and my doorbell rings and I'm like, <laughs> what do you think that doorbell is for? Like to ring it? No, hello, like don't call me unless you're gonna text me, don't show up at my door unless you're going to tell me. I'm joking, but really, I never like anybody showing up uninvited as well as intentioned as they might be. But I'm hoping and praying it's just FedEx or rather Amazon or, you know, they ring the doorbell and they walk away. And I'm like, give it a few seconds. It doesn't, doesn't happen because now I can see that it's not FedEx, it's not Amazon, it's not anybody that's going to go away. It's my really nice next door, not next door, across the road neighbor. And he is very kind, very well intended, but he has this belief system that, um, how do I put it, that, not belief system, he thinks that it'd be great if I come over and visit him. And the only way I can say this is that I don't think that's what I want to do. Like, not just around him, but around anybody. I'm very much an introvert. All right, so let me cut to the chase because I'm talking a lot here. Um, not that that's a bad thing, right? Hopefully. So I get up and I immediately say, it's okay, Kathleen. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. But of course, you know, because I felt annoyance and frustration. I'm like, what? Nobody should talk or come near me. Doesn't everybody know I want to be left alone? <laughs> no, Kathleen, not everybody knows that. Not everybody can read your mind. That's what they would have to do because you haven't put out a big sign that says, don't come near me. So I open the door and he's really sweet and very nice. I'm like, hi, he's an older gentleman and he's trying to convince me to come and eat um, with his wife and that he doesn't have turkey, he has chicken, which I don't know if that was to convince me more or just to explain that, I don't know, I don't know. But um, I basically, I said, hey, no, but thank you. I appreciate it. I really enjoy time to myself. That's what I'm doing. And he proceeded to ask me again. Because sometimes people don't hear you, literally. Like, they're like, oh, she didn't mean that. Or they didn't mean that. They didn't mean no. They meant yes. And so I continued to tell him. And I'm proud of myself because I was feeling like, no. The more that you ask me, the more I'm grounded in my no. But politely. Because I actually like this neighbor, very sweet. I just don't want to hang out with him, okay? So I say no again, I say thank you so much, and then, um, I don't know, I mentioned something about my mom, hope she's doing well, and I'm like, yes, she is. And then he's like, okay, I won't bother you anymore. And I wanted to be like, you're not bothering me, although actually, okay, he was initially, but really, I was just like, this was a great opportunity for me to say no. And I really, really, really enjoyed it as much as I didn't want to get up from the couch and have to do this. It enables me to recognize I can say no. And I don't have to be mean. I don't have to be a bitch. And if I'm hurting somebody's feelings, okay, I have no control over that. But I do my best to say it in a kind and honest way. So what is the lesson here in learning to say no? Well, there's another great quote in that the more that we make peace or try to make peace with others, the more we make war within ourselves. You really have to think about when you're saying yes to everybody, how does it feel in your body or saying yes to some people, not everybody. Like when you say yes, are you like, oh, I'm excited. Like I'm trying to think of something. I'm actually, I have to see a client today at 12 pretty soon. And I'm like, yeah, I want to go see her. She's a client I really enjoy. I don't, it's a Saturday, by the way. I made an exception. I don't mind. Now, what if it was like, oh, Kathleen, can you see me Saturday at 12 o'clock? Sorry, I have cat hair. And I was like, no, man, Saturday is my day. And if I said yes, I would be betraying myself, right? And then I wouldn't authentically really be as in that session because I'd be doing it for her. And somebody wise said to me recently, he's a great massage therapist too, that if you start to say yes when you're really meaning no, 
then you become a martyr. You're not doing anybody any favors, right? And when you're saying yes to everybody and saying no to yourself, I want you to think about what is your body um, hearing? What are you saying to your body if you keep saying yes to everybody else? Well, you're saying to your body and just basically you, you don't matter, you're not important, why are you even here? And that can show up in illness, by the way. So think about it. A lot of people that are very giving and martyr-like and they, they um, you know, they're like, oh, they were so great to everybody, blah, blah. Well, they can die earlier because they're saying yes to everybody so much that they're draining, literally draining their body. But that's a whole nother subject. Just say no. Not, not quoting Nancy Reagan in terms of the 80s and the drug drug war the war on drugs just saying no that was bs by the way but start saying yes to you yes to you when you start saying yes to you you're going to recognize who you are more of because when you're saying yes to everybody else it's like you're giving away parts of yourself and no wonder people are like well uh i don't even know who i am kathleen i'm like yeah that's because you say Yes, so many times to other people, you don't take the time to recognize this isn't something I want. This isn't who I am. All right, so just say yes to you. Say yes to you. Sometimes it's gonna be yes to other people, but mostly, remember, how does it feel in your body? I think my cat is snoring, that's why I paused. All right, I hope, I hope you guys had a great, I don't know, holiday and if you didn't that's okay too because the holidays can really be a hard time for all of us and i hope you like my earrings all right everyone and, and my blue eye can you see it yeah my blue eyeshadow thank you so much for watching um i throw in humor as what i call humor but i think it helps to say these things or try to teach them in a light fun way it's, it's really doesn't, it doesn't have to be heavy. Take small things and start to say no. Somebody offers you a piece of food, you really don't want to eat it. Just say no, thank you. Simple. The more that you're able to do that, the more you're being honest to yourself. The more that you're parenting yourself the way you didn't get parented. The more that you're saying to yourself, you are okay just the way you are. Just the way you are. You don't have to please everybody. You know? What about pleasing yourself, huh? Yeah, yeah. What about being selfish? Selfish is not a bad thing. It's been termed selfish, mostly towards women, if you notice. Think about it. All right, I'm really gonna go now. Namaste, take care.